Okay, we are going to make some stuffed pepper soup. So delicious. So we're just going to saute up about a pound of hamburger. I put a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of the pan just because this is really lean ground beef. So we're just going to fry that up until it's golden brown. Okay, next we're going to cut up about a half an onion. around one and a half to two cups of bell peppers. So um, I have some here uh, that I have from the garden. I'm not really sure what variety this one is. It's kind of a lime green. Um, so just cut them in half. These are a little softer. Are they um, got a little wrinkly on the vine? I'm not sure what that was all about, but um, they smell delicious. They're almost like a chili Loreno or one of those peppers. Now, when you cut the tops off of here, you can save all of these, and I'll dice them up really small, uh, put them in the fridge, so don't ever waste anything from your um, pepper. A lot of times if I have larger peppers, um, so if this was a larger pepper, I like to just cut off the tops. Um, if I'm gonna clean them and put them in the fridge, and say I just want a little bit for an omelet or something, in case I want to make stuffed peppers later in the week, I'll have these peppers in the fridge. If not, if I'm going to make chili or something like that, I'll just cut them and dice them. And But just in case, I have this little nice little vessel here. You can stuff it with chicken and green chilies and make like a Monterey Jack um, sauce on the top. But I never throw away these little pieces here because they work great for pizza or anything. So... Yeah, these are just different varieties. You want to just take out all the membranes. I already washed them. And usually this these just pull right off the stem. They're perfectly fine. They're not pretty, but they're perfectly fine. I've just decided I'm going to double the batch of soup, so I'm going to do a whole onion. And then I'll need three cups of peppers. Okay, once your hamburger is brown, getting brown, and your onions are in there, we're going to add our spices. And um, we're going to add around, since this is a double batch, I'm going to add around two teaspoons of garlic powder. Two teaspoons. One, two. We're gonna add some onion powder. Another two teaspoons. And we're going to add some Italian we're gonna add some Italian seasoning. There again, around two teaspoons. And you know, this is just flavoring, so you can do whatever you'd like. Um, we're going to add two tablespoons of Worcestershire. Make sure you um, always shake it before you use it. So around two tablespoons. And we're going to add a half a teaspoon of salt. And around a half a teaspoon of ground pepper. And you can add more seasoning um, as you go. So we're going to stir all this in and we are going to just get it all mixed up. And then we're going to add our bell peppers and then we're going to just um, brown that for a little bit
Okay, so we added the green peppers and now we're gonna cook it for around two, three, four, five minutes. Um, we're just kind of getting them a little mixed around and all the flavors of the seasonings all um, mixed together. Okay, we're gonna add some jalapeno. I'm just gonna thin, thinly slice it. And then I'm just going to give it a rush chop here. You can wear gloves if you would like. This is just a really hearty soup and it's using up a lot of things you get in your garden. I am just gonna add one can of the diced tomatoes and then I am going to actually cut up some tomatoes that I have that are a little soft and um, that I just wanna get rid of. I don't think they're gonna be making it um, till I get my salsa ready. So I'm gonna dice up some of these and I'm just gonna fill up this can. After I empty this can, I'm gonna fill it up with fresh tomatoes. That will add a nice um, flavor. So we'll just go ahead and add these jalapenos. Okay, so we're just going to add this can. Now you can add more too to your, um, you know, you can add more tomatoes. If you like it chunkier and you really like tomatoes or um, onions, you can add more onions, peppers, any kind of peppers will work in this. So it's just a really um, nice base and you can just keep adding whatever you want. So, okay, so this is about making up for a can, fill it up. So I'm just gonna saute this up a little bit, break down the tomatoes a little bit, and then I'll add my tomato sauce and my broth, and then we'll let it simmer, and then it's pretty much done. Um, you'll have to let it cook for, you know, half hour to an hour. It's a good soup to just have on the stovetop all day long in the fall or in the winter, and um, just eat it that way. It's just so delicious. Okay, next we're going to add our tomato sauce. So we are going to add four, this is a double batch, so we're going to add four eight ounce cans or anywhere around there. Okay, so next we're going to add two quarts of uh, beef broth or chicken broth or if you, you, you can also use um, ground chicken in this instead of ground beef and then you would use uh, chicken broth. You can use vegetable broth, any kind of broth you have. So I'm gonna do one beef broth. And then I had this one open in the fridge. So it's just about full. Um, and then I'm going to use this to get it out of the fridge. So use what you have. Um, you know, if you would have uh, vegetable or chicken broth, and you can mix them all together. In this soup, it really doesn't matter. So we're just going to simmer this now and then um, just keep stirring it every once in a while and um, paying a little bit of attention to it, but otherwise just put a lid on it, simmer it, and um, it's good to go. Okay, so we're gonna add um, a half a cup of rice to our um, soup. And then we are just going to simmer it for around 10 minutes. Now you'll just have to like um, taste it and, and see when it's um, tender and to your liking. But then your soup will be done. So um, enjoy this everybody. Stuffed pepper soup. It's so delicious, so easy, and it's great to have on the stovetop um, all day on the weekend. And you can just keep having bowls with some crusty bread. Um, don't be afraid to add some crushed red pepper if you'd like in there. You can add a little bit of celery. Um, you know, don't be afraid to just add stuff to it. But um, yeah, add some jalapenos. It adds a little bit of spice. You can add some chili powder in there if you would like. Um, but it's just really delicious. And if you want to add more peppers and you want it thicker and heartier, go ahead and do that. You can add more um, onions as well. And um, yeah, just 
have fun with it. But it's a really delicious soup. Um, go ahead and share some with your neighbors. And thanks for watching the Julie way, everybody.